Corn planting is right around the corner. It might not seem like it with all the snow in the background, but we are just days away from corn planting happening and it's already occurring in part of the United States. So we wanted to talk a little about pre-emerge herbicides today, what you should do before you plant, or can you use some of these products after you plant? There are a lot of different choices out there. We're gonna have a relatively narrow focus today though. Well, I was hoping you weren't gonna talk about this after you plant kind of thing, because with most of these corn pre's, well, really with all of the corn pre's, they're soil residual type products. So there are a few of them that have a little bit of burn down type activity, but for the most part, we're talking about products you put on bare dirt and they get into the soil with water, then they get into these weeds as they're starting to germinate or starting to sprout and they kill the weeds. Well, all of these products take water. So depending on where you're at in the country, if you're further south and east from where we farm, you get a little bit more moisture so you got a better chance of them working. If you're further north and west, you probably get less moisture and you're saying, wait a minute, how do I get those pre's to work? Well, the way you do it is by putting them out before you plant. Now you have more time to get that moisture on, to work them into the ground and into those weeds. So ideally with these pre-emerge herbicides, we'd like to see them applied early, we'd like to see them worked in. But the problem is, in a lot of the country, that's not gonna happen. It might not happen on your farm just because of weather conditions. So the question is, can you use these after you plant? Well, you sure can. Because a lot of, a lot of the time, you're gonna be spraying Roundup or Liberty later on, which is gonna clean up grasses and broad leaves later. So then we get to the next question, which is, well, if Roundup and Liberty's gonna kill everything, why do I need the pre? Well, there's no question you're going to increase your yields in your corn if you're using a pre to kill that early flush of especially foxtails, but also small seeded broadleaves that get going very early in the season. All of those weeds, even by the time they're one or two inches tall, are pulling water away from your corn and they're pulling nutrients that you've already paid for and put out in the field and they're taking them away from your crop. Why would you let that happen? The universities have shown for decades that when you put a pre-emerge product out, you're gonna get more yield than when you try and do it in a total post-operation controlling the weeds. So you have to do it. Here's the way I look at the whole thing. It's gonna cost you five to eight dollars to put a pre-emerge herbicide out. Here's what you're gonna gain. You're gonna gain that early season weed control. So now you can delay spraying that Roundup or Liberty. So you should have a cleaner field at the end of the season. It normally is going to translate to pretty good yield, pretty good return on investment. The other big thing is peace of mind. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Like on our farm, we will have about 1400 acres of corn or so this year. Okay. And if I've got all those acres with no pre-emerge herbicide out, and I've got to get out there at just the right time to spray the Roundup or Liberty, and all of a sudden it starts raining or the sprayer breaks down or something wrong happens. I've got weeds out there that are robbing nutrients. They're robbing water. It's going to take a lot of yield. And just as importantly as that, in my opinion, is all the nervousness that I'm going to go through. It's really really hard on a guy's nerves. So I, I just encourage guys to always put a pre-emerge herbicide out. We do on our farm. If you haven't been doing it, I suggest you at least do some strips, do some trials on your farm. You can prove it to yourself just like we've proven it on our own farm. All right, let's talk about which products to use. We're focused primarily on grasses because in corn, it's a grass crop. They're the toughest weeds to kill in crop. There are some small seeded broadleaves that are a big deal early and many of the pre-products will get them as well. So you've got your family of Harness, Surpass, Dual, Outlook. Mostly they're grass killers, but they do get some of the small seeded broadleaves as well. They can be put on ahead or after the crop is up. We really prefer to see them put on early. As far as tilling them in, all of those products are shoot inhibitors. So they need to be into the soil, but very shallow they have to somehow hit that weed between where the seed's at and where it emerges from the ground. That's where they're gonna enter the plant and kill it. So we like to put them on, either laying them on the top and doing no tillage, or lightly incorporating them and mixing them into that top inch or two of soil. You also have options for broad leaves, things like Kicksore, Balance Flex, all the different combinations that would include those products. You got a number of choices now that you never used to have. But again, we really wanna focus on the grass control because corn is a grass crop and that's the toughest weed to control or the toughest weeds to control. And they also take away the most yield and they come early in the season. So anyway, again, with all these pre-emerge herbicides, we just think it's important to take a look at doing something on your farm for better weed control, better yield, and peace of mind. Well, it's nice to kill that early grass pressure, but will these products kill our Weed of the Week? We'll show you coming up next.